Welcome back. The Asa Wright Nature Center has become the first eco lodge to benefit from the deployment of an ultra low carbon air conditioning technology that tackles both climate change and ozone layer protection. This is part of the UNDP's Global Environment Facility Project, which aims to create a sustained market change towards the adoption of low carbon refrigeration and air conditioning technologies locally. Resident representative for the United Nations Development Program, Jared Noto, said this will help reduce carbon emissions and hinted at a pilot project being conducted on a larger scale. And there are some engagement with other private companies to do pilots for this new technology at a bigger scale. But this all that to contribute to the effort of the government and people to, to, help to reduce carbon emissions, uh, to um, to comply with the commitments of the national um, contributions uh, to contribute to climate change mitigation. And Planning and Development Minister Penelope Beckel said the deployment of such technology was ideal to be done at the eco-friendly Aether Wright Nature Centre. We are witnessing the deployment of green technologies that show the way forward in the fight to reduce greenhouse gases and Gas emission, greenhouse gas emissions and carbon footprints with the deployment of what we say the ultra low carbon air conditioning that tackles both climate change and the ozone layer protection. This will be the first Eco Lodge that was developed in Trinidad and Tobago and for us this is a very, very momentous occasion. Two of these hydrocarbon AC units were installed in Trinidad as the Aza Wright Nature Center and another at the office of the Prime Minister, while two will also be deployed at two facilities in Tobago.